Welcome back to Living 808. It's another edition of 808 Style, and Mikey is on the road at Pearl Ridge Shopping Center. Yep, he's live from Mauna Ola to learn how we can dress to impress Hawaiian style. Hey, Mikey. That's right, everybody. Living 808 is on the road. We're taking 808 style to Pro Ridge Shopping Center, and we got to stop by to see our friends at Mauna Ola. We have Mauna Ola and we have Kaui here. How are you guys doing this morning? It's a wonderful morning. Wonderful. I was, was going to say, do you guys like my shirt? Uh, you look great. The vibes, it's, it's there. there. It's there. <laughs> Brother, I love you. Thank you so much for coming on Living 808. You know, we've had you on before, but for everybody that's been sleeping or missed that segment, let's catch them up to speed. Let's give them a little history about Mauna Ola. Absolutely. Mauna Ola, Hawaii actually was started on Hawaii Island, at our, our home island. Um, you know, we are from Kohala, Hawaii. Um, really, it's Mauna Ola is an expression of my kuleana as a new generation for a lineage of hula dancers and and kumu hula mm -hmm. that are really you know looking at moving and perpetuating hawaiian culture into the 21st century mm -hmm. and uh you know i was very fortunate to learn a lot from my mother and to really be inspired by our a'ahu our traditional mm -hmm. dress and really looking at hawaiian fashion and and bringing that to the 21st century and helping to manifest what that looks like yeah. and really uh, manaola hawaii has been um very instrumental in helping to bring that to light you know we mm -hmm. have a wonderful team um, here and we have our my, my mother as well that stands mm -hmm. behind the brand that continues to help us to elevate and, and move the brand forward. All of our um, collections are actually done with traditional um, processes okay. such as ohe kapala which is traditional bamboo carving right. um, which were used to don our ancient kappa you know in, yeah. in old Hawaii mm -hmm. as well as hand-drawn illustrations. Um, a lot of these illustrations and these kappa patterns all have familial connections as well as contextual co connections and connectivity to our aina that help us to express mo'olelo just as our kupuna have to give us that ike kupuna that that traditional insight into different native hawaiian value sets um, ide um, different ideologies mm -hmm. through our mythologies mm -hmm. and all of our mo'olelo our our hawaiian stories that really enrich us and and help us to live our wonderful lives today. I love that. I love how like, okay, because obviously we have a lot of mutual friends in the yes. music industry here and they tell the story of Hawaii through their art, through their music, but you're doing it through clothes, you know, through Absolutely. accessories Absolutely. and now through home goods, right? Absolutely. Kelby, I want to bring you into the conversation. Let's talk about this collection that we're looking behind us. It smells really good, by the way, and that's just not my cologne. <laughs> what are we yes. looking at? So as you can see right behind us, we have this canopy. What a beautiful setting we have here. Mm -hmm. Of course, Mauna Ola with his special touches he'll come into our retail spaces and kind of just dolly it up mm -hmm. so as you can see we have all these features of uh, stoneware and chopsticks um, we also have a partnership with Lani's Island Snack Shack from Hilo Hawaii yes. it's super ono delicious snack for all the ohana you got a lot of lemon peel in there so yeah just quite ono and yeah. so we have that partnership with them and we continue to share with our people here in honolulu i love that my co-hosts love lemon peels so john and kelly i'm not going to give you guys any promises but i hope that this will make it back with me to the station <laughs> i hope so <laughs> okay in addition to the lemon peels to the collection let's talk about your new collection really nice i saw some of the models um shout out to my friend michael kabag um, let's talk about the collection. Give us a brief overview before we actually see it. Our ku Lei Kupe'e collection is a part of our Lei Signature collection. And, you know, we're really taking a look and a deep dive into what the Lei represents for us as, as Hawaiian people. And the different kinolao, or the different forms of, of uh, material culture, which is based on our natural world, which includes shells, um, ferns, flowers, and those things. This specific collection actually focuses around the Lei Kupe'e. And the Lei Kupe'e are these beautiful um, shells that were actually collected at nighttime um, in pole, right, which is the night. And um, really what they represent for us is our ability to 
to collect and to gain our hidden knowledge. Pe'e means to hide. So they say that these shells actually hide during the daytime and they show themselves at night. So um, that whole ideation of bringing a collection together that, that looks at us as the knowledge keepers and the knowledge carriers of the future mm -hmm. to take our ancient wisdom and to move it into the future um, through different um, family, uh, family stories and family mo'olelo, but really making sure that we hold those stories dear to us and, and keep that moving forward. I love that. Beautifully said. All right, family, stay with us because in a little bit, we're going to have some models jump on camera and you're going to take a good look at the newest collection. John and Kelly, I'm going to send it back to you while I eat these lemon peels. Don't <laughs> eat it. Mikey, bring it back. Those are some of your uh, faves. No, seriously, yeah. Um, and Mauna Ola, mm -hmm. love their yeah. designs, love their store. You got to go check out their store. It's like beautiful. It's a beautiful store. Yeah, and again, stay tuned for the fashion show that's yeah. coming up. We have some models that are dressed in the awesome new collection. Yeah. So excited to show you guys that.